permanent mold is using gravity while you pour molten metal into a steel mold. The great thing about permanent mold is it uses a steel tool. Um, the difference for a steel tool versus any of the other processes is repeatability, um, surface finish. You can also hold tighter tolerances with permanent mold, which is a big advantage. Permanent mold is closer to the die casting surface finish, but closer to the sand casting cost. Essentially, you're pouring your uh, metal into a pour cup and you're letting gravity do the effect. So when it tilts back, the gravity flows in naturally, so it causes less porosity and provides a denser casting. The nice thing about the tilt pour process is it allows the molten aluminum to go into the tool and allow air to evacuate, um, creating a denser casting, a lot less churn. Basically laying the part horizontal and then as you tilt it back, you're having gates run down the sides of the part and you're going to fill from the bottom to the top, creating the least amount of porosity. We like to use the example of pouring uh, a beer down the side of a glass. If you decide to pour a beer into a glass, it creates a lot of foam and churn. Um, if you pour it down the side of a glass, you tilt it uh, a lot less foam, a lot less churn, a lot less porosity, um, ultimately in the casting. So turbulence is bad because it creates porosity. You don't want porosity in your castings because then you get air pockets, machining is a little bit more difficult, and a lot more inclusions or issues will be coming apparent during the machining process. Especially if they need something that is pressure tested or they need to machine it with minimal porosity, the density of the castings helps that out. Um, in addition to that, it's great for food safety and medical safety equipment. Denser castings are also great in the pressure vessel industry. This part here is a great example why denser castings are necessary. This one here is needed for um, pressure tight um, elements, so here they do need a um, limited amount of porosity so that there is no leakage happening. This here is another great example of where um, a denser casting is needed with little to no porosity. This part is for a food application, so there is a high need for um, no food entrapment to get into the casting when it's going through their production process. We're the permanent mold experts and we've been in business for over 75 years.